You see receivers, but there's no giver. That's why they can't produce children. When you don't do things God's way, you can't get God's results. That's why homosexual relationships cannot produce children. Why? Because if you want God's results, you have to do things God's way. Now, this is the reason why people in a gay or a lesbian relationship have to step outside of the relationship to find either a seed giver. So if it's a lesbian relationship and they want to have a child, they have to find, for example, a sperm donor, right? They have to step outside of the relationship because they have no seed giver. They still have to go find someone to give seed, whether they adopt or they get a sperm donor. In a gay relationship, you have two seed givers. They have no one to receive seed. So they might need to get a surrogate mother. They'll take the sperm and give it to another woman who will carry the child. So you see how if they want to have a child, they have to find some way to go outside of their relationship to get a seed giver or a seed receiver. Now, the reason why they have to step outside is because the relationship they have is not according to divine pattern. Anytime you have to step outside of your positioning to find resources, it means you're outside of divine alignment. When God or when a man is in alignment with God's will, he doesn't have to go out of his way to get resources. Jesus says, when I sent you, did you lack anything? And the disciple says, no, we didn't lack anything. Anytime you're in divine alignment, you never have to struggle for resources. They have to go outside of the marriage to go find, and some people can search for months, for years to find a surrogate mother, for months, for years to find a sperm donor that they want, because they have to check his genetics, have to check all these things. But in a heterosexual relationship, on a simulate, they can just have sex and produce children. They don't have to struggle because they're doing it God's way. When you're doing it God's way, results come easy. When you're doing it in an ungodly way, you have to struggle to get the result. And this is a meta principle. If the business, for example, you are starting is in alignment with God's will, you will not struggle for resources. If the ministry you are starting is in alignment with God's will, you will not struggle for resources. If you have to go out of your way to get resources, it means you're not living in divine alignment. Inside of God's will are also the resources you need to fulfill his will. Inside of a heterosexual relationship are the resources you need to produce children. The man has the giving instrument, the woman has the receiving instrument, and then she has a system within her womb that develops a child. She doesn't have to pray, she doesn't have to fast, she doesn't have to sow a seed. That system is inbuilt. Adam and Eve, when they were created in the garden, didn't have to pray and fast for food. Because they were living in God's will, everything they needed was provided. God always provides for his assignment. If you're in the, excuse me, if you're in divine alignment to divine assignment, there is divine provision. If you are in divine alignment to divine assignment, there is divine provision. So if you're in alignment to God's pattern for marriage, male, female, marriage, you don't have to struggle to go outside the marriage to find a seed giver and seed receiver. Why? Because in that relationship, there was already a seed giver, the male, and a seed receiver, the female. So this is why homosexuality is a sin, lesbianism is a sin. And then we can also get into polygyny, polygamy, and all these other things. But right now, I'm only talking about homosexuality and lesbianism. I'll actually get into that discussion later on in this series, talking about why also polygamy is a sin. Polygamy is comes from 